All right, so I am in the GM Proving Grounds. This is the biggest Proving Grounds that I've ever been to. And I have behind me the Hummer EV. And I am about to go off-roading with this car, which is very exciting. So I'm gonna take you guys on this ride. Ready? Let's go. This Hummer has the trunk in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and open and show it to you guys. With a press of a button, it just goes up automatically by itself. How roomy is that? Awesome, right? Bye. Damn. Very. <laughs> it's just wet now. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get going since we have the engineer with us. She is my favorite, our favorite, because <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna get going. Ready? Yep. May I? You are? the best course because there's not too much dirt it's all kind of muddy now so it's yeah. gonna be real fun um do i yeah you can just leave is it down. auto yep oh mm -hmm. all right should we just go let's pause here good all right go ahead all right Yoo muddy muddy road Oh, okay, there it is. I was like, oh, it's blurry. <laughs> <can't see. laughs> yeah. So it's got three blades mm -hmm. on the window because, or windshield, because it's short and wide. All right, and then we got four Jurassic Park sunroof. I think that's so cool. Each of them has two latches. This is perfect. You know where this is? We're gonna go on the hill, over. And this is our birdie view, 360, five to seven cameras viewing to make this one view of 360. <sighs> okay, deep breath in. Ready? Okay, 10 to 15 miles right here. I can't see the front. Where am I going? Where am I going? Am I going to drop? It's like. Ooh. Hey, what is that? What is that vibration on the seat? Is that? Um, that was because it was sensing that there were objects around you. Oh. So it's just letting you know um, it was sensing the tree branch. All right. So that was easy. I mean, no stalling, no nothing. So th is this an all-wheel drive too? Yes, so this vehicle has three electric motors, one on the front axle and two on the rear axle, and they're always active. Yeah. Sometimes for efficiency, we'll be only running the front axle okay. um, in normal drive mode, but um, for the cases that we're doing right now, all three motors are being used. Mm. Wow. And it's really smooth, guys. It feels like, I don't know, you're, um, one of the reporters described it as you're in a tank, but it runs like a sedan, right? It's very smooth. Man, someone's shooting something? Yeah, I'm not sure why. Maybe they were just going around? <laughs> maybe they were getting footage? Yeah, maybe. Alright, so... Right now, this is so cool because it has a lot of features. It's a camera viewing the back of the car. Of course, you can switch it back to the mirror, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it can do zoom, in and out. And then control the, yep, up and down, obviously, because it's a camera. And then the brightness, of course. It's an amazing mirror right here. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, so why don't you pull up like kind of where that guy is and okay. then we'll get you into crab mode. Alrighty. I'm not 100% sure what they're doing. But... Hmm. It's kind of crab walk. <laughs> Okay, so this is really cool because it's, this camera has a washer <laughs> coming out of out of it too. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> perfect for when it's muddy, like right now. Yes. All right, so we're gonna just go, go, okay, and keep it like 10 to 15 miles an hour and gentle steering inputs, and you'll feel the lateral movement. So right now the wheels aren't turning. We're doing a crab walk. We're moving, shifting to left side instead of turning to left side. So this is real cool if you're going off-roading because obviously you're gonna want to shift instead of turning in you know some roads. And this is just amazing technology right here because it still feels very smooth. Almost like you're just going on a road. Yeah. So um, the rear wheels are moving in the same direction as the front wheels, which is how you get that side to side instead of a turning sensation. Yeah. And yeah, we do use it off road for helping find the right line when you're going over more technical terrain um, or avoiding obstacles and that kind of thing. If we were to go in the muddy water, ooh, still goes. Uh, no biggie. Oops. And of course, go, we gotta clean, clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, there's a door open? Yeah, I think oh, I guess that door is open. Well, yeah, just come to a stop and we'll. Perfect. Nope, one more time. It's harder. <laughs> There we go. See how smart this car is? <laughs> and it's in all colors too. Alright, I took you out of crab mode because we'll just continue on the rest of the course. Now. Okay. Who goes off-roading in the rain in e uh, Hummer EV? <laughs> Me! Alright, we're going to the left side, right? Or the right? Switch you over to terrain mode. 
Um, we're going to hit accept. Um, the brake controller just uses a different, different algorithm for when you're in terrain mode. Right. Um, so it's going to be grabbing the brakes for you. Mm -hmm. So when you lift off, I'll put you in low actually, just best example. So when you lift off of the accelerator, it'll grab the brakes. Mm -hmm. It's really good for off-roading. Um, a lot of off-road drivers will be using the brake and the throttle at the same time to kind of manipulate their speed and torque as they get over obstacles. Right. Um, this gives you the additional flexibility of like not having to use your left foot in those mm -hmm. cases. Um, the truck is looking out for you and it makes off-roading really easy. Yeah. Um, so as you go up here, when you get like halfway mm -hmm. and you're at a good incline, just mm -hmm. try lifting your foot off completely. Okay. Like say you panic and you're like, oh, I, shoot, ah! I don't know where I'm Yeah. <laughs> just let go and the truck will grab you. Oh. All right, let's try it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, oh, I already feel it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. that was pretty good. Yep. I like that sensing thing, it, it like vibrates on the yeah. seat. Yep. It's right just, now, I'm not stepping on the brakes at all. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. All right. I'll take you out of low. Drive is a little bit less aggressive, but it will still bring you to a stop okay. in terrain mode. Um, the other cool thing about terrain mode is the rear steer gain is a little bit higher, so you got a really, really tight turning radius. Mm. Um, maybe you can feel as you go around some of these twists that um, dynamically the vehicle feels a little bit different than it did when it was just an off-road mode. Yeah, it does. Yeah. That, that terrain mode is awesome because right now I stepped off the gas and it's still going. It gradually slows down instead of grab, grabbing onto the brakes. So terrain mode is awesome, awesome for off-roading, obviously, and going on and over hills and down the hills too, probably. Yeah, it, it offers you a lot of control when you're going down really steep terrain. Yeah. Oh, like this is like in 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 a painting, like <laughs> that YouTube video of like off roading, but you're at home, <laughs> can't feel anything, like real smooth. That's All right, I'm doing. gonna put you back into off road mode. Okay. Um, so let's say I got it. You can go a little faster down here, and then once you get closer to the cones, just step on the brakes. Alrighty. Let's step on it. You want to stay in it, try mm -hmm. to keep the vehicle above 10 miles an hour at mm -hmm. least. That'll help you kind of float over the sand and get to the top. All right. That's off-roading. This is like, <laughs> looks pretty. Yeah, this part's pretty beat up. A lot of trucks have been coming up this way. So yeah. yep, just keep in it and it'll probably push you into the ruts that are here, but keep going.
Drifting with Hummer EV. Not so bad. Yeah, this truck is extremely capable. I can and see that. With the two rear motors on the on the rear axle, you got a lot of power. Yeah. Um, and one of the biggest goals from the vehicle dynamics team, like the chassis controls team, is making it approachable mm. so that anybody can come in and get to know the vehicle and get comfortable with these like high dynamic situations. Yeah. Easily. So it's fun. It's approachable. Um, but as always, safety is a high priority for us too. So yes. like I said the brakes felt good. Yes. We have powerful brakes. That's really important. Um, and uh, yeah, you gotta have fun, but you gotta be safe too. Yes, of course. to an end right here and uh oh my gosh that was an amazing ride and i think the rains calmed down a little bit but i had a lot of fun oh my god okay this was like an amusement park for me <laughs> at the gym proving grounds so uh that uh completes my journey and uh i'll see you guys later bye